Archer, so don't have, didn't have so much uh, craftsmen. Came here and then they traded. I'm here in my grandfather's village. It's not quite 7 a.m. yet. It's the best time of day. The sun isn't even up yet. I was always told as a child that my family was from Keist, but I could never find it on a map. And it wasn't until I met a Romanian named Stefan in 2004 that I learned that Keist was actually called Saskis now. And I found it. It turned out that his mother's family was from about an hour away from here. And I started to learn all about Keist. And that incredible fortified church in the distance. For, for us it's a small, let's say, the garden of Eden, <laughs> everything here. That, 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 now I can show you why, why I don't leave this place, I can't leave it. Uh... The plums are not yet ripe. No. When will they be ripe? Two weeks. This, Two weeks. This, this uh, part, they are down there I have them, some they are already okay. ripe. So, uh, I have to cut this grass here. And cut it. <laughs> well, and then in, in the winter time, I just put here around a electric, uh, an electric, uh, electric fence, and I keep sheep here inside in the barn outside. My twelve sheep. <laughs> <laughs> this is ring lot. Ring, yeah. You know it. Mm. Very sweet. Is it like a plum? Yeah, yeah. It is a plum. It is a plum. It is a plum. Mmm. Very sweet. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah.
Now, I understand there are services every other week. And the first and the third Sunday in the month we have services and on uh, official holidays and Christmas, Easter. So this is the baptismal font where my grandfather, great-grandfather, and, and, and beyond. All were baptized here and uh, confirmed they were they were 14 or 16 years, we don't know exactly how it was 100 years ago. Now it's uh, when you're uh, 14 years old, you go to the Sunday, uh, Sunday school, you learn things about the Bible and then you have a test that you need to pass and then you are uh, considered being an adult. You have So you have your Jokan Clemens, who is your grand-grandfather. And I was going through it and he is on page 46. It's 1924. So each year ended, it's 1923, and then 1924 begins with all the, all the funerals held. And 1924, uh, it's uh, in 1924, it's the position 18. And here is the registry of your great grandfather, Johann Clemens, so the father of your grandfather. That's the, his uh, date of, uh, that's the registry for his death. When he when he died and it says the following so I I translated it he died in 10th uh, November 1924 and he's it's said that he was 71 years old so his uh, birth date is 1853 53 so and he says he's 71 years old his Evangelisch Abbe, that means Evangelical uh, with Augustiner Bekenntnis, so the church that we, that's the official name. Landmann und Schuhmacher, verheiratet in Geist geboren und wohnhaft. So he was an agricultural and a shoemaker. He was married, he was born in Geist and lived in Geist. And the good thing is at number 77. So we get the house number. And uh, about 70 years ago, 70, 80 years ago, they changed the house n the numbering and we got the new number list.
Story is original from those times. Up there, it's the number. Oh yes. You assemble it on the ground and then you disassemble it and you need to put it back together. That's how the church, for example, was built. So these are markings from the original, these from are back one? from the original, or original uh, construction and you, you can see here that this was probably reused. So, mm. for example, when they had, when they built, had a new building, so they needed to reuse a lot of wood because mm. if not, you needed to go to the, in the wood, uh, chop down the tree, and you had a lot of work to do to bring it to this form. <laughs> Your tomatoes look beautiful. Uh, <laughs> Were they good this year? Were they delicious? Uh, yeah, they are good. Da means yes. He minds of my tomatoes. <laughs> I started having this type of preoccupation. Good but for you. yeah, I, I have to give you the, the salad. It's in, in my bag. So my great-grandfather probably had yes. his garden in the same place. Yes. And my father, we had a hill like this in our backyard. Oh, really? Yes. And he had his garden. He had his garden much like this. Wow. But it was at the upper part of the hill. Wow. Just like this. Amazing. She had a zone where she said struguri a sașilor, uh -huh. dar era uh, aparținea de fermă respectivă so vița de vie. Would have, would cultivate, uh, vine, uh, the grapes. So the grapes would be in lines and then the vegetables would be in, in, in between. In between. And the same for the beer crops. Intrau odată cei care lucrau iar după ce se termina uh, ziua de muncă, se tregea, aveau uh, niște nisip pe jos uh -huh. și tregeau cu grebla uh -huh. ca să vadă dacă intră cineva okay. sau erau So they would have these uh, like community laws to avoid um, you know thieving. So after they would work, the barrels, okay, the barrels will hold in them the grape juice i don't know how you call it in romania it's must yeah 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 okay yeah. so they would hold them in barrels so they would come the saxons would come work whatever they had to do for the wine to prepare the wine and then when they came out there was a person at the end that would put sand or they would have sand down and they would knead the sand so they knew if anyone was going in between the working hours to basically <laughs> Yeah. Not they leave camera. their footprints. Yeah, so, so this is, they didn't need the uh, cameras. So they need the cameras. Yeah. That's the Romanian name, the Saxon cemetery, and then it's Kienisbierich. That's the uh, the hill of the king. Hmm. Because apparently there was a king once, uh, there, a king came once here and uh, hold a, I don't know, to make this coffee. Ah, okay. okay. The ground here belonged to the king and the Saxons were, uh, were guests of the king. Uh -huh. uh, they came 1200. And, and they uh, remained like that for yeah. all these hundreds of years. Yeah. Wow. And they and they and they be, they have been given the land to serve as uh, guardsmen. And here is where the priest and also the orchestra were, uh, were taking shelter. It was an open. It was open. So it had only a roof. And here is where the the musicians and the priest were talking for the. Holding the mess the, the, uh, when they when they hate uh, how do you call it uh, 
What sort of musicians would they have? With trumpets, and they were singing on the on if you had a funeral. Wow! So you were holding the funeral mass, and the musicians of the village uh, accompli accompanied the, the priest. They were singing the playing the the, the, the songs. Sarah uh, Clemens, but she was born Krauss. So she was born. 1893. Sarah Clement, the crowd. It's such a big, such a funeral. That's the statue. Barb, we think, we think this is it. Hmm? It's close. Oh yeah. It's just a birthday, isn't it? Twenty, twenty something, twenty-four. Eighteen fifty-two to 1927 27. and it's actually he's died on or 20 Johan events. Oh, you have done the rubbings I'm doing like um, paper and a crayon yeah I just have I have the paper but not the crayon Sarah Herman we have her 1862 should have been. Uh, 58 there. 1858, yeah, 1858 here. And 1938, if I see well. Uh, she died in 1931. Okay, so this is not. It's but you have the same names. Same about names. About the same. Uh, about the same time. Very same close. Time. Interesting. It was a tradition here, and there is, was a guardsman which was living there and had a garden there, and he was self sufficient there. From the community. From the community, wow. and his main purpose was to. Uh, observe everything mm. and in case of a fire, mm -hmm. in case of a storm and so, to ring a bell. I have a bell here, must be remade. And then that's how they gathered the community to come back. Uh, there was a bell, there were multiple signals. For fire there was a signal, for storm there was a signal, because if a storm catches you on the fields you can get... Uh, yeah. And that's how they made it. This is the Ellis Island Immigration Station in 1905, two years before my grandfather went through in 1907. Having some tomato from my great grandfather's garden. Mm. Delicious. Oh my god. This is, <laughs> is so it, good. Is it good? Yeah, I never met this taste unless until the Clements zone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 700 years of, of Clemens will, will make a pretty good tomato. <laughs> <laughs>